Hey, what's up, YouTube world? It is your girl here, the Venusian Bull, and I am back with another video for the Planets in the Houses series. And in this video, we are discussing planets in the seventh house. Okay, so I felt like I would show my face because the seventh house is about dealing with other people and relating to other people. So I need to show the people my face, you know what I'm saying? And give them the, you know, aesthetics, you know, it's seventh house is akin to Libra and all of that. All right, so to be more specific, we are going to be discussing Saturn in the seventh house in this video. All right, so um, just as a recap, the seventh house has to deal with relationships of all kinds and partnerships and marriages, business contracts, marriage contracts, open enemies, as well as uh, what you attract in a long term committed partner and or relationship um, or marriage. Um, so you also want to look to what is on your seventh house cusp. So if you don't happen to have any planets in the seventh house, make sure you look at the sign that's on the seventh house cusp. Also remember the seventh house is opposite the first house. So while the first house is um, what you project, which you give off your first impression, your physical appearance, the seventh house has to deal with what you attract in other people. OK, so if you always are wondering why do you keep on attracting the same kind of people, look to your seventh house. OK, now, if um, some of these things don't resonate with you, remember to look at, um, again, the planet that's on. I'm sorry, the sign that's on the seventh house cusp and the aspects that your Saturn is making with other planets, because it could be modifying this energy. So this is just a general take on Saturn in the seventh house. All right. So having Saturn in the seventh house is similar to having Saturn in Libra or having Capricorn on the seventh house cusp. OK, you could say Aquarius, too, because Saturn also rules Aquarius. But this is it gives me more Capricorn vibes. OK, so Saturn in the seventh house. All right. So, you know, remember, Saturn has to deal with what is lacking and um usually your karma and it has to deal with discipline and it has to deal with hard work. So understanding that you have your uh, Saturn in the seventh house, understand that relationships are going to be difficult for you. Well, not necessarily difficult, but they're going to require hard work. They're not going to be easy. You're not going to be able to just fall into a relationship and just be like, hey, I'm here and, and we love each other and let's do it. This is not like Jupiter <laughs> energy or even like sun energy or whatever. This is like hard work. We need to work for this. Marriage is a commitment. Being in this committed relationship where Saturn is looking for the long term, is looking for the longevity. So they're not here for these like frivolous, you know, relationships and stuff like that. They're looking for people who can be with them for the long haul and create this um, legacy with them. You know what I'm saying? On the other side of the coin, having Saturn in the seventh house, because you want someone like you have like these high standards for a relationship and you want somebody to last you could be single actually for a long time and not be in a relationship remember saturn has to deal with uh what's lacking so you could be lacking in that department you may not have um that long-term committed relationship or even close personal relationships with other people in terms of like friendships and things like that i would say with saturn in the seventh house you are more savvy when it comes to contracts and business contracts. Um, you can even be like shrewd when it comes to your business partnerships and things like that. And, you know, the authority in that or you attract um, or you tend to attract people who are who kind of have that authority over you and um, in a business or even in a romantic relationship. And that is um appealing to you like that can be you know sexy to you or attractive to you knowing somebody who who takes care of business who's responsible who uh who takes care of their kids who takes care of home who brings home the bacon who makes good money has a decent job they're consistent like saturn in the seventh house y'all need this energy okay and you guys need to understand relationships and it's about um because saturn has to deal with karma so your karma has to deal with relationships. So you needing to better understand how to relate to other people. Because remember, Saturn can be kind of the recluse, the introvert, because they just don't want to be bothered with other people. You know what I'm saying? But you kind of have to, you got to figure out, you know, the, that Capricorn energy that's kind of, you know, rest in bitch face energy, okay? You kind of have to realize, um, figure out how to 
relate to other people. So that's kind of like one of your challenges in this lifetime with having a uh, Saturn in the seventh house. You may also tend to attract um, people who are in the military as well and law enforcement or even uh, government um, as well. So you may attract the politicians, the congressmen, the senators, the mayors um, and things of that nature. It doesn't matter what your gender is or your sexual orientation. You just may continuously attract people in like high powered, you know, positions and things like that. But be careful because these people may have power over you um, too much. So make sure that they're not taking advantage of you or um, taking you, you know, for granted and things like that. Saturn in the seventh house people, like I said before, it's um, all about the build and the steady climb. So they're never going to jump into a relationship fast. And they're also about simplicity. So these people could very much just go to like the justice of the peace to get married. Um, Saturn in the seventh house, I could also see it as being like a common law type of marriage. Like you've just been living together for seven years. You know, if, the, if your state um, uh, recognizes that it could be that type of energy. It's just someone that you ultimately, you know, feel comfortable with that has been by your side, that has been consistent um, and things like that. But just remember Saturn in the seventh house, it could take a long time for you to find that partner. You definitely want somebody who's more mature. So you may definitely be dating, um, wanting to marry somebody who's a lot older than you, maybe 10, 20 years, your uh, senior and stuff like that. Like you can't be dealing with them young people. You can't be dealing with them young boys and them young girls. No. So like men, if you got Saturn in the seventh house, stop dealing with the young girls. Okay. You need an older woman who is going to teach you responsibility and maturity and stuff like that. And women, you need an older man it's like you may low-key kind of be looking for a father because Saturn does represent father figures so you may have kind of lacked that in your childhood so you may literally be looking for a father as a husband it's unfortunate just like moon in the seventh house for men you could literally be look you could literally be looking for a mother um for your partner <laughs> for your wife and things like that so just keep that in mind and make just Make sure the power dynamics aren't too much off because that Saturn energy can be very stern, very strict, uh, very disciplined and very much my way or the highway. And again, in the beginning, that can be attractive to you because you have that man that, you know, or that woman that takes charge, that person that takes charge. But if it gets too demanding and, and the relationship could go grow sour, it could grow cold. There could be a lack of, of, of affection, um, lack of spontaneity. It's just kind of like the same routine all the time. It could get very, very boring, but it's like, you like that because it's consistent and you know your partner, but at the end, but sometimes it can get, you know, it could get too monotonous because it's too much of the same thing every day. You wake up, go to work, you know, every Wednesday you have sex and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just the same old, same old thing. This is definitely sugar daddy energy though. I will say you, if you're like a young woman, you have Saturn in the seventh, you could definitely be, you know, trying to get um, a sugar daddy because you want somebody older somebody who can protect you, somebody who has money, somebody who's established and all of that type of stuff. Um, but also remember that if you are a woman with this placement, you do have the potential to attract um, men that you have to take care of. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, they're looking for that same kind of thing too. So um, just be mindful of that when you have Saturn in the seventh house. Okay. Um, I think I got everything that I needed to get with this energy. Remember, if you have this placement and I happen to forget anything, be sure to put that information in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.